well, six o'clock here in the morning and just breaking daylight. And uh, I've got uh, 20 buckets of pastries and trail mix filled up here this morning, ready to take off. And I'm just gonna show you, hopefully you can see this. A venison roast with some potatoes. And so when I get back this afternoon from running bear baits, I'll have uh, something good to eat. So let's hit the road. Well, I had a long day in the woods and I'm just relaxing around camp here. Took a shower, got the sweat and the dirt washed off me and um, just got to thinking of some things that I haven't talked about yet that, I, that you'll probably find interesting. So I made a list here and I just thought I would go through them and show you some pictures and stuff like that. And so you can see, uh, you know, how this has been going. The season opens a week from tomorrow and I use my last hundred pounds of pastries today and um, I have uh, a line on getting some more breads that I can mix with oil and probably put some uh, Northwoods Super Sweet Cherry Burst with it to sweeten it up um, but uh, I'm in pretty good shape for trail mix and uh, granola and so that's mostly what I'm going to be using here for this last week and but I do have to drop a bunch of baits. Uh, I've got 14 baits out. All of them are being hit consistently and most of them have multiple bears on them. So I'm just going to start dropping the baits. In fact, I started today uh, ignoring baits that just have primarily sows with cubs on them. Some of these that have sows with cubs on them also have shooter bears on them, but uh, I've pretty much got shooter bears on all the baits. And I've got some really nice males and uh, you know, it, I wish every year was this easy, but uh, it it's never going to be like this again, I don't think. It's a perfect storm. Of course, we haven't killed anything yet, but uh, we'll see how that goes when the hunters start arriving uh, a week from today. So I just want to mention a few things. Number one is I'm seeing an awful lot of logging activity, more than I've ever seen before. I think the high price of lumber has got these companies really getting after it and probably um, cutting some areas that they normally wouldn't cut this early or something. I don't know. I just know that there's a lot of logging activity in the woods. Another thing that I've noticed is that if you stop baiting a bait, the bears just destroy the barrel. I mean, they'll they turn ape on you and just twist the barrel off the tree and uh, chew it all up. In fact, uh, there's one bait today that I spent 15 minutes probably walking up and down the trails and circling the bait, I never did find the lid for the barrel. And uh, so I ended up just walking out of there without the lid. But uh, they, they messed them up pretty good. Um, an interesting thing up at the Cedar Swamp bait, I mentioned that there was a dark brown chocolate bear on that bait. And that bear has been missing for a few days. And then today it turned up on, a, I, well I shouldn't say it turned up, there's a chocolate bear that looks for all the world like it could be the same bear on a bait at the power line which is 10 miles from there. I don't know how to explain that. I don't know why a bear would travel that far away from a bait that that uh, he's being fed at but it looks for all the world like it's the same bear. I guess we'll find out over the next week if we have bear uh, pictures of chocolate bears at both baits and then we'll know it's two different ones. I also have another brown bear that showed up. This is the fifth one or maybe six depending on what I just talked about. Um, I had another bear, a brown one show up at the uh, Lost Lake number two bait. Now that bait um, has multiple bears on it and they're they're constantly fighting in there around and around back and forth. There's a saw with a cub in there that's really aggressive and he's a yearling cub and um, there's just a ton of activity there so I'm kind of surprised that this chocolate showed up there. It looks like he's probably two and a half year old bear. Um, not really a shooter. Someone could shoot him if they want. They really want a chocolate but uh, it's not that big of a bear but it is. It's another chocolate bear. Um, where one of my brown bears was at I got a call from a guy who was at my bait site and he says, I've got a bait site about 200 yards, a couple just across the beaver pond from it. And um, I've been baiting that spot for 20 years. And I think he kind of thought I would just pull out, which, you know, um, I just said, well, obviously, you know, neither one of us are going to leave. So we need to work this out. And I agreed not to hunt somebody in there on opening day. 
uh, so his son could hunt that bait on opening day that's just across the beaver pond from it. And the bears appear to be going back and forth across the beaver dam between the two baits. And uh, I, I baited that for a good week before I saw a sign that other people were starting to go in there with a four-wheeler, so I don't think that he baited it right away. Another interesting thing is the bear with the tags, that great big bear number 6007, he's AWOL. Um, he has not been back to that bait for, I think, four or five days now. I don't know if he kept migrating south or what, but uh, there were so many big bears in there that I couldn't keep the bait on it, and uh, it, it just kept running out. I was baiting it every two to three days, and every single time I went in there, um, put six to eight buckets of bait in there, and the next time I'd come back, it was gone, and so I hope I didn't lose him, um, but he was so nocturnal anyway, it's not the end of the world if he's gone because uh, it, you know uh, he was eating a lot of bait and there's a pretty good chance we weren't going to kill him anyway so um, another interesting thing that I think you'd be interested about is the wolves now I've had wolves on probably half the baits and I, I this is good wolf country and there's a lot of wolves around I've seen wolves crossing the road um, I had wolves running down the trails in front of me on the four-wheeler before I see a lot of wolf tracks so I just am not using any meat this year in order to hopefully keep the wolves off the baits because wolves just terrorize the bears and if the wolves take over a bait uh, you can really have a difficult time keeping the bears on that bait so fortunately the wolves that have been through have just moved on and I just get one or two pictures and videos of them and then they're gone the one exception to that is a wolf that moved on to one of my baits and I've got dozens of pictures of it He's been ev there every day and every night for several days in a row. This wolf has a GPS collar and it's missing its right rear leg and he looks pretty gaunt and skinny and my suspicion is that he probably is hungry enough to eat donuts and whatever. Um, so I didn't put any more pastries on that bait and um, my, my guess is he's just not capable of running down a deer or whatever. That bait just has one bear on it anyway, and uh, he's not a very big bear. Um, to a lot of people, he would be a shooter, you know, 160, 180 pounder, but uh, this year, um, he's not that important to me. And the only other bait up in that area is one that's just loaded with sows and cubs, and it's quite a drive up to those two, so I'm just going to pull the plug on both of them. So anyway, that's an update uh, on how things are going here. If you know most people if you thought you had enough bait this year You probably didn't because there's just very little natural foods in the woods and the bears are hitting the baits Just I've never seen anything like it. So I just got to keep feeding them and Keep them coming because I want them there when uh, my clients show up and uh, And that means I just going through the bait by the hundreds of dollars and hundreds of pounds so Thank you for being a subscriber, and if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. It means a lot to my channel and helps it grow. And also, if you have a question, maybe something I said triggered something, uh, or I could have answered something better, uh, put your questions in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, we'll see you in a few days.